is going to be the next phase of the war in current from an economic point of view. For those of you who have been watching for a while, you know that last winter the Russians went out of their way to hit the power grid in Ukraine, wherever and whenever you could, because that was the way they could generate the most casualties and have the most political impact on decisions in Kiev. And then in about May, once it had warmed up, you know, that you didn't necessarily need hating in Ukraine, the Swiss target to the agricultural supply system quite a very heavy emphasis on the infrastructure that collect and specifically export the grain. Talking about things like grain soils and sport, first in place like Odessa and then later moving on to the Danube River Delta, which is where the Ukrainians and tried to cut the stuff out. In this, the Ukrainians have kind of faced a triple blind. Number one, they import most of materials that are necessary, like fertilizer, in order to grow crops in the first place. Number two, there isn't a lot of storage in Ukrainian that has available because of the last year effort in the war. Most of the stress was full completely so the Ukrainians were focusing on getting that out so they could make room for this year harvest. And in car and in some degrees there has been failure there. And this stuff has nowhere to go because number three, almost eighty percent of this may be behind a little bit more ghost out by water. Primarily through the Orissa region and wait, that kind of offline, the only other options to rail in hold, and what means you have to limit number of rail cars, you have to ship it through other countries that are already going to export like Bulgaria, Romania and Poland, who don't like the idea of that stuff being dumped on their market, so most of them have bred Ukraine from having terminal arrival for their grind, and you have to just keep on going so far every kilometer you have to go further that's a kilometer that rail car has to be committed so all in all you were talking about over at 80 percent nearly a 90 percent reducing in ukraine ability to cut the stuff out and now that a lots of those fought on the danube have been damaged there's just no place to put the stuff from this year's harvest so from the Russian's point of view, mission accomplished and now they are choosing targets. This past week, the week of the 18th September, they have started watching targets again because we are now getting into fail and they are going after the power grid again. And over the course of the next month, I would expect that general staff to the almost complete they have destroyed the Ukrainians ability to play in international grand market in any mining free and now they are going to go after the far grade to cause much casualties again. So definitely the Russians have absolutely won this round. The only way they had the rest of the world might be able to have with this to massively massively explain the real connections between Ukraine and their neighbors and then the next line of countries fly on. It's not enough just to cut the stuff to say Poland or Romania. You have got to get on to the water. And that means you also build out the lifting infrastructure for transferring something from rail on to ship. Because those are countries we are already grain exports. That stuff is already used to capacity. You basically need to double the entire thing. Normally, you would expect something like this to be really bad for grain price or gold. I guess, depend on your point of view. Send them off. But miracles. The Russians have had a bump for harvest, so they have increased their weight export by over a drive. And that by itself it's nearly enough to compensate for all the ukrainian crime that has left the market so white rights are actually down now i'm i'm just i'm not a grand trader and i am not trying to give you anybody price recommendation but just a couple things to keep in mind number one the russians climate is incredibly erratic and so just because they had a bumper crop this year doesn't mean they are going to have a bumper crop next year. Keep that in mind. Number two, the Russians have said that any vessels, civilian vessels anywhere in the Black Sea going anywhere near Ukraine coast. There is helps the right to attack. The Ukrainians are trying to convince people to come anyway. And they have had very limited success, but that works always there. 
and for their fault. The Ukrainians have said that have dicks demonstrated that they can stack Russian for as far away as Navasik, which is their major crime laundering facility for the Russians. Now they have not gone after civilian vessels yet, but again, there's still in possibility they can have a westward war on the water in white coats at civilian shipping in the northern half of the sea in a degree of six. So for the moment there's inner glen out there. I not I had not get used to it, but at the moment that's very clear. Okay, thank you for watching the operative analysis. <coughs>